Welcome to Family Gamer TV. Now we've really been enjoying all of LEGO Dimensions. Those open worlds, those levels and those expansion packs. But as ever, our mind is turning to what is next for LEGO Dimensions. And we want to get together with Team Family Gamer TV to figure out what things should LEGO Dimensions do next. The first and foremost thing I think is likely to be coming is new content. Of course, new franchises for lego dimensions but the question is which franchises are we likely to see now the users on the brick set forum have been doing some research in this area and have been plugging in a number of lego sets into the official lego websites now when you do this this usually brings back some sort of error page but they've noticed that there's a particular part of the url that gets filled in with the code for the particular set you're looking for so although you can't see any official information you can see some codes so it seems likely with some of these codes that we'll be seeing particular bits of content coming to LEGO Dimensions in the future. This is speculation, but speculation based on particular codes from an official website. So first and foremost, it seems to be Harry Potter. Now, I suspect Harry Potter is coming because we've got this Harry Potter and the Fantastic Beasts content coming up in the mainstream media. So of course, wherever you've got that, you're likely to see content coming across to video games as well and with the codes HP1 and FB1 and FB2 it seems that this will be Harry Potter and the Fantastic Beasts. Of course we've already had Harry Potter Lego in the past but this will be Lego um, content on the the movie Harry Potter and the Fantastic Beasts and I think that means that we'd also like to see physical Lego sets so if this rumour is true we've got two things confirmed in one. Now moving on, we've also got codes 81, 83, 82 and Mr. T. Now of course anyone who grew up in the 80s, late 80s, early 90s will know that Mr. T is a character from the A-Team. Now the A-Team is coming up to its 30th birthday, so with that it's no surprise that we may well see it in LEGO Dimensions. And usually you've got a pack for each of the characters. Now there are four main characters in the A-Team. Um, and the key one of that, the most iconic, is no doubt Mr. T. So is it likely we'll see um, the A-Team coming across to LEGO Dimensions? And also there is a LEGO um, community build project where the, there's a promotion to try and create an A-Team themed LEGO set. And we've seen this in the past for Portal where we, there weren't physical products for it, but there was a community request or a community build. And that came across and that we th many people thought that was unlikely and impossible to imagine Portal com combining with a LEGO game, but that happened. So I think these A-Team packs, um, based on these codes, seem relatively likely. Maybe slightly less likely is the Brick community's guesses around the KR code that we're seeing pop up for some of these LEGO Dimension sets. And um, many are thinking this will be Knight Rider. Now I have to say that that would be a really appealing idea and it does seem to fit with some of that retro action that we've already had from the likes of Back to the Future and Doctor Who and certainly scratching that itch of parents playing with kids. Now of course there is a Lego um, community project to bring a Knight Rider set to fruition of complete with Michael Knight, Devon Miles and Kit, that sort of trio of heroes from the film. Of course Kit being the robotic car if you've not seen it with that glowing red light, slightly mischievous and again I could imagine some great comedy moments being created by TT Games for this. Now it seems potentially quite appealing and I think that's the danger here is that we jump to conclusions because we want something to happen although equally as I said just now Portal was something that people maybe ruled out because it seemed just too good to be true so could Knight Rider be another of these too good to be true um, expansion sets for LEGO Dimensions that becomes true. Certainly my kids would enjoy it and I'd enjoy revisiting Knight Rider with them. Now there are lots of other codes as well and I think once you go off into some of these you really are getting into the realms of pie in the sky. There's a GR code that I'd love to be Gremlins and there's other codes too but I think this is largely wishful, wishful thinking. Perhaps the, the, the only remaining one which I would talk about is the TTG1 and TTG2 LEGO codes that maybe relates to the Telltale Games content. We've just seen Minecraft Story Mode come out from them and it would seem likely that we would have um, Minecraft content in LEGO Dimensions before too long. Other, other readers on the Brick Set forums have suggested we may see, may see Sonic. That's based on a single code, a single letter S in one of these codes that comes up for these packs. So again, whether the S1 pack is Sonic or not, I think um, 
only time will tell and I wouldn't like to hedge a bet on whether that is true. Some of the others I think are more likely. Moving on, I think we're also going to see the minifigures themselves get upgrades. Now currently you can get upgrades for the vehicles, um, but the minifigures you don't get a chance to change their abilities and de develop them like you do in Skylanders and Disney Infinity. And that's a key part of the Toys to Life back and forward getting to know your character, making choices about it, and then saving it back to the toy so that when you take it to your friend's house, you can then access your guy, your version of Marty McFly, your version of Gandalf. So I think this is something that will add. In Disney Infinity 1.0, there were very few upgrades. Only The Incredibles really had upgrades in that game. And it wasn't until the Disney Infinity 2.0 with the Marvel superheroes that we saw a full upgrade tree for their collectible figurines. So I think it's likely to see again in phase two of LEGO Dimensions that we'll see them adding upgrades to characters as well as to vehicles and certainly maybe that was a step too far for that initial launch but it will be coming to characters as well. Those NFC discs on bottom characters um, can't write to in the first game but I'm sure the technology exists to allow you to write to them. Now finally, I think this is a new area for LEGO Dimensions that I would expect them to expand on, is their toy pad. Now it being made of LEGO, you can, as my kids have, add all sorts of bits to customise the look and feel of your toy pad USB peripheral to give it your own sort of customization. Now I suspect they will be adding packs that will actually add official expansions to that toy pad and add additional functionality to those various keystone features that we already know about. Now these expansions will probably adjust both the look of the, of the toy pad with new builds, new additions that maybe plug onto the back, but also may well make use of some of those NFC zones on the toy pad to tell the game which of the expansion packs is applied to the toy pad and then allow that functionality to be accessed in the game. So there you go, that's my speculation on what is next for LEGO Dimensions. But I think we need the hive mind of Family Gamer TV viewers, Team Family Gamer TV, in the past, you've been great at sniffing out the tips, reading between the lines of what is coming to many Toys to Life games. So I want your attention on this. I'm sure I will learn as much about what is up next for LEGO Dimensions in making this video as I will be telling. So that's all we've got time for in this episode of Family Gamer TV. If this is your first episode, first time you've watched us, then do subscribe and we can let you know when we have more episodes, videos up online, whether that's LEGO Dimensions, Disney Infinity, um, Banky Overdrive, Skylander Superchargers, or a whole ton of other games.